This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollar. So this is an update. Uh, many of you know, if you watch my video from a week or so ago, that I have been diagnosed with colon cancer. It, it is, let me say this, it is, uh, it really drives it home when you log on to your Kaiser Permanente insurance portal and you see cancer it, it, under your health summary, cancer of the colon ascending. It really makes it a reality. And this is the reality that I'm facing. So I wanted to give you an update. There was such an outpouring of love and support uh, for the first video that I did when I announced it that I wanted to, to continue in, that, in that, uh, that same vein of keeping you apprised of the situation. A after all, I'm here only because of you and I, I feel an obligation to keep you informed. So I was gone yesterday. It was because I was just too tired. I don't know if that's a physical tiredness or the culmination of all of this news just weighing down on me and having an emotional tiredness reaction. But that is why I, I had everything prepped. I was ready to go. My topics were set and ugh, I just didn't have it in me. So, um, so far, so good. Um, I have a surgical consult on the 4th on Tuesday. And that is the point at which we will learn um, whether I'm stage one, two, three, four, exactly where we are in that process. Also, uh, the general prognosis of what I'm looking forward to relative to a cure, uh, whether they get all of the cancer, whether they find more cancer while they're in there. And uh, all of that is scary. All of that is uh, the unknowns that tend to drive you crazy. But that is the reality that we are faced with. And on this show... And in my life, I deal with reality on reality's terms as my lovely, talented, and scholarly wife and co-host of our podcast uh, often is known to say. So I also wanted to show you this. This, is, this was printed out the day of my colonoscopy, but I was in such a, a anesthesia-induced haze, I didn't, uh, I didn't talk about it or show you. I'll put this up on screen. And the reason I'm going to put this up on screen, nobody asked to look inside of me like this. <laughs> but the reason I wanted to show this is because so many people have reached out in their supportive messages saying that my situation has motivated them to make an appointment, to schedule a colonoscopy, to schedule a checkup, to get uh, to a point where they know whether or not my situation could be their situation. And... I really want to impress upon you the importance of that move for you. If you are 45 years old is the age now that they are suggesting colonoscopies on the reg, you need to go do that. I would not have known that this devil was growing inside of me if not for the colonoscopy. There's no pain. I didn't know. I'm healthy. I have wonderful blood pressure. My heart, my resting heart rate is fantastic. Sits at right about 60. I'm healthy. I'm fatter than I should be, of course, but I'm healthy. I'm in good shape. And I would say to you that uh, I'm not, I, I don't want this to be for you what it was for me, which was that, that happens to other people. Colon cancer, nah, that's something else that's going to happen to somebody else, not to me. And here we are. It happened to me. It was a shock. So go get checked. And then also I want to say thank you so much to the thousands, the literal thousands, of, even on just that video that I posted when I announced that I have cancer, thousands and thousands of, of, of comments of love and support and well wishes, people sharing their own journeys with this hideous disease. And uh, all of that means the world to me. It is... It is important, it buoys my spirit, uh, and it's also, as a community, good to share uh, our, our, our trials and tribulations. Uh, I, I do believe there's efficacy in that, there's worth in that. So, um, thank you for the support. The other thing is, while um, I don't know how quickly I will be in surgery after the consult, I'm expecting it to be at least two days because I need to go, I'm assuming, back through the process of cleaning my system out. 
drinking the, the gel that causes you to, to spend a day in the bathroom to clear out your system. Um, maybe a little too much information for, for, for you, <laughs> but here we are. So anyway, my, my wife, Brittany Page, who's been co-hosting the, the, the dual show with me, she will be taking over for me for the intervening weeks up to a month that I'll be convalescing, I'll be recovering. And I would ask you as a favor to me, I would, would expect this from my audience, but to treat her with the same love, care, and support that you do me. It's gonna be different. Nobody's me. Thankfully, there's not two of me running around. It's gonna be different. Uh, she has a different set of interests. She is a lot more cerebral than, <laughs> than I am. Uh, although I, I do not shy away from the moniker of being a social justice warrior, that is her bent more. She has a stated love for humanity that many of us should strive for. And that's gonna be reflected, I think, in some of the stories that she covers. Uh, of course, she's gonna be covering the, the important things, the same things I do. We share the, some of the same interests related to, to white Christian nationalism and the, the encroaching march of fascism on our government and the threat to democracy. But there'll be some other interesting things in there too. And I would ask you as a favor to me to continue support this channel. Subscribe, like, comment, all of that, and show Brittany the love that she absolutely deserves as a favor to me. Uh, anyway, I love you guys. I appreciate you very much. Again, just a quick update to let you know what's happening, what to look forward to. Uh, I'll probably do a little quick hit video uh, on Tuesday before I go into my surgical console or maybe on the way out to give you an update of what's going on. But uh, anyway, if you have questions, leave them in the comments below. I love you guys, I appreciate you very much, and uh, I'll keep you updated. Be genuine, take care of one another.